Hi, I'm Bavin. Have you ever heard someone talking about an eclipse but not really understood what they mean or what an eclipse actually is? Is it something you can touch? Is it something you can hear? An eclipse is something you can see. It's a cool word and it's fun to say really fast. Eclipse, 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 <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but what exactly is an eclipse? The word eclipse comes from the Greek word eclipsis, which means abandonment or to leave. Remember that when we get into what exactly an eclipse is. An eclipse is an astronomical event, which means it happens way, way up there in space. An eclipse takes place when one object in space moves into the shadow of another object, blocking that object from view. Eclipses can occur all over the universe, in different galaxies, but they would be way too far away to be detected all the way here on Earth, so we are going to focus on the eclipses we can see on Earth. Eclipses happen because planets, moons, and other objects always move through space. For instance, Earth travels around the sun in a path called an orbit. An orbit is a regular repeating path that one object in space takes around another one over and over and over again. <laughs> the moon moves in an orbit around the Earth, while at the same time, the Earth orbits the sun. So the Earth, moon, and the sun all have their own orbiting path, and sometimes these paths arrange the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun in a straight line, temporarily, before they continue orbiting around each other. When they do, temporarily end up in a row, that is when an eclipse happens. There are two types of eclipses on Earth, an eclipse of the Moon, known as a lunar eclipse, and an eclipse of the Sun, known as a solar eclipse. Solar and lunar, lunar and solar. <laughs> they sound cool, but What's the difference between them? Let's start with lunar eclipses. The amount of the moon that we see changes over each month, and there are eight moon phases. It takes 29.5 days to go from one full moon to the other. This is because the Earth is moving around the sun, so the moon has to rotate just a little bit more to get back into the same position. Because of the different orbiting paths, Sometimes, the Earth moves between the Sun and the Moon, and this causes a lunar eclipse. Because the Earth ends up between the Sun and the Moon, the Earth ends up blocking the sunlight that is normally reflected by the Moon. Wait, wait, wait. The Moon's light is from the Sun? <laughs> well, the Moon may shine at night, but the Moon doesn't actually make its own light. It turns out that moonlight is actually sunlight that shines on the Moon and bounces off. So when we look up at the night sky and see the glistening, glimmering moon, it's actually just light reflected from the sun, making it all shiny. So twice a year, when the Earth happens to block the sunlight from reflecting onto the moon, it's called an eclipse of the moon, or a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse can be seen from Earth only at night and when we can see the moon, and it can only occur when the moon is full. So what does a lunar eclipse look like? Well. From Earth, it looks like the moon is slowly getting eaten by the Earth's shadow. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> the surface of the moon slowly turns a reddish color, which is why some people refer to a lunar eclipse as a blood moon. This reddish glow is a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering, which has to do with Earth's atmosphere and how sun's rays are bent around the Earth. Sunlight is made up of a wide range of frequencies that are linked with color. Shorter wavelengths are blue. And as the wavelength gets longer, the associated color turns to green, then to yellow, and then red. So Rayleigh scattering, named after a 19th century British scientist called Lord Rayleigh, <laughs> is when light rays get scattered all directions from the gases and particles in the air. It's the reason why the sky is blue, and that the sky glows that beautiful orangey red during sunrise and sunset. In the case of a lunar eclipse, sunlight passes through the Earth's atmosphere, which causes Earth's atmosphere to filter out most of the blue light, giving off a reddish glow. There are three types of lunar eclipses, total lunar eclipses, partial lunar eclipses, and penumbral lunar eclipses. 
a total lunar eclipse occurs when the moon and the sun are on exact opposite sides of the earth. A total lunar eclipse happens every 2.5 years and can last for over an hour. A partial lunar eclipse happens at least twice a year. Partial means the part of something, so a partial lunar eclipse is when only a part of the moon enters Earth's shadow. Like, the Earth's just having a snack, I guess. <laughs> so, it's like the Earth's shadow ate a part of the moon, not the whole thing. A penumbral lunar eclipse is very subtle and difficult to observe and only happens when the outer shadow of the Earth falls on the moon's face, leaving a subtle dark shading on the moon. What is a solar eclipse? So we know the moon moves in an orbit around Earth while at the same time the Earth orbits the sun. And because of this, sometimes the Earth blocks the sun from the moon. But did you know that the moon can block the sun from the Earth? Sometimes when the moon orbits Earth, it moves between the sun and the Earth. When this happens, the moon blocks the light of the sun from reaching the Earth. This causes an eclipse of the sun or a solar eclipse where the moon creates a shadow onto the earth and the sky gradually grows darker in the middle of the day. There are three types of solar eclipses. The first is a total solar eclipse. These are very rare. Most people only see one total solar eclipse in their lifetime and when it does occur, it is only visible from a small area on earth because the people who see the total eclipse are in the center of the moon's shadow when it hits the earth. Total solar eclipses can last up to eight minutes. Did you know the temperature drops on earth when a solar eclipse occurs? It makes sense since the sun is being blocked. <laughs> For a total solar eclipse to take place, the sun, moon, and earth must be in a direct line. As the moon moves between the sun and the earth, the moon begins to block out some of the sun's light, creating a shadow on the earth. As the moon continues to pass in front of the sun, the sky begins to get darker and darker as a small crescent of the sun remains in the sky. Then once the sun is totally eclipsed by the moon, the sky is dark, except for the sun's corona, which can be seen shining in all directions around the moon. The sun's corona? What is that? The corona is the outer atmosphere of the sun. It's made up of extremely hot gases known as plasma. It extends many thousands of miles out into space and gradually transforms into the solar wind that travels through our solar system. During a total solar eclipse, you can see the glowing white corona that surrounds the visible sun. Seeing the sun's corona is an amazing sight because the only time the sun's corona can be seen is during a total solar eclipse as the corona is usually hidden by the bright light of the sun's surface. Wow. Then, when the total eclipse of the sun is completed, the shadow of the moon passes and the sunlight starts to make an appearance again ever so slowly. The corona then disappears, and right before a thin crescent of the sun becomes visible, a phenomenon called Bailey's beads appears for a few seconds. Bailey's beads are an arc of bright spots that can be seen during total and annular eclipses of the sun. They are named after an astronomer called Francis Bailey, who first saw them during an eclipse in 1836. They are caused by the moon's mountains, valleys, and craters, which create an uneven edge of the moon, where sunlight still shines through in the form of beads. <laughs> they shine through the lowest parts of the moon for a few moments after the rest of the sun is covered. Then, after the eclipse is done, Daylight returns and the moon will then continue to orbit the earth, just like normal. <laughs> when a total eclipse occurs, it can darken the entire sky in the middle of the day. It's quite a sight to behold. In ancient times, back when people didn't understand why the sky went completely dark during the daytime, it caused quite a lot of fear. If nobody explained to you what a solar eclipse was and you experienced one out of nowhere, it might scare you too. <laughs> but today scientists understand why eclipses happen and can determine when they will occur. The second type of solar eclipse is a partial solar eclipse. This happens when the sun, moon, and earth are not exactly lined up in the straight line that they need to be for a total solar eclipse. When a partial eclipse occurs, the sun appears to have a dark shadow on only a small part of its surface. 
This is the most common type of solar eclipse. The third type is an annular solar eclipse. An annular eclipse happens when the moon is farthest from the Earth. Because the moon is farther away from Earth, it seems smaller. It does not block the entire view of the sun, and the sun appears as a very bright ring surrounding the dark circle of the moon. Solar eclipses happen once every 18 months, and they're usually only a partial eclipse. Most calendar years have two solar eclipses, but the maximum number of solar eclipses that can take place in the same year is five. However, that is extremely rare. The longest total solar eclipse of the century was over India, Nepal, Bhutan, and China. And the darkness lasted six minutes and 29 seconds. Could you imagine it being that dark in the day? Six minutes? It's a long time. <laughs> what happens when you look at an eclipse? The only time you can safely watch a solar eclipse is with special equipment. Looking at one with the naked eye can cause a solar burn on your retina, which can cause permanent damage to your eyes. You can safely look at lunar eclipses, however. <laughs> so now we know the difference between a solar and a lunar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in between the Earth and the Sun. And a lunar eclipse happens when the Earth passes in between the Sun and the Moon. See you next time! We are thrilled that you're watching Blue Studios 24-7. We're so excited to bring round-the-clock entertainment and educational content to your home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest videos. At Blue Studios, we aspire to revolutionize the way families spend time together. We empower families by providing them with tools to work together, earn and learn, and achieve new heights of success. Visit www.bluestudios.io to discover more about our mission and how we empower families to succeed. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Keep watching and learning with us. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.